All right, guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Um, this is going to be another shortcut tutorial, uh, but today we're going to go over how to speed up or slow down your videos. You know, let's make some slow motion out of just regular old uh, video that you capture. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up Shot Tech. Uh, we want to go ahead and go to our playlist. We want to get our videos into our playlist, so we're going to go to our desktop um, or wherever you have your full, your videos uh, loaded on your computer at. Um, I, I always put it on my desktop. I create a folder for the project that I'm going to do. Uh, this project is uh, Shot Cut Tutorial Video Speed. So I have all the video clips that I want in here. Um, the GoPro, we're going to start with that. Uh, so we're going to drag this over. This is 1080p, 120 frames per second. So this is really going to drag when I try to play it on here. My computer is very old, and believe me, guys, uh, <laughs> it is not capable of handling even 1080p at you know 120 frames per second let alone 4k so uh, you get the video that you want to work with and you drag that down by just left clicking on the mouse holding it down dragging it where you want it into the timeline and then just let go of the mouse key like that and once it's in your timeline uh, you can go ahead and play it to see what it looks like uh, I'm not going to because it's just going to bog the whole system down now um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this out of view. I want to try to make this video, I want to try to keep it under 10 minutes. I don't know how, if I can do it or not, but I am going to try. Now, one thing to remember about uh, slow motion videos is you don't want one that's as long as the one I have here. If I drag this, okay, well, I'm at the end. This video is actually... Uh, 27.025 seconds long. Now, when we slow this down, that is going to double or quadruple that speed. That's going to make it really long. We're going to go ahead and cut this video. I have an area here where I dropped the ball, and I want to find that. Okay, I found uh, the area where the ball just starts to come into frame, so I want to cut everything out before that. So I'm going to left click on the timeline to make sure it's highlighted. You see the red line around it? That's highlighted. We're going to go over here to properties, and this is going to show you your speed of your video. This is the only thing you want to look at. Um, all this gives the information to the video. You know, this is your Kodak resolution, 1080p, your frame rates, I'm at 120 frames per second, uh, and of course my aspect ratio is 60 by 9. Now, in order to speed this up or slow it down, and in this case we're going to make a slow motion, I want to change the speed because right now it's running at one time speed, uh, which is regular speed. So I want to go ahead and put that at, we're going to get rid of that one, put a zero there, and we're going to um, slow it down to half speed, which would be zero five. Now if I click out here anywhere, it will change this to half speed, anywhere you click. Now the timeline will jump. Notice how long this video got now. I mean, it's huge. Okay? If I drag this to the end, which it's going to take a while to get there. Uh, this video is now, it went from 27 seconds to 4 minutes and 20, 25 seconds. So it's slow. We are going to export this video. And I'm going to show you what it looks like at half speed. So I'm going to click. So we're going to say everything's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this export right here and we're going to we're going to get down here to advanced make sure everything is how we want it um we're going to keep it at 120 frames per second and we're going to click on x make sure that i usually like to have everything at the best and then we'll click export file we're going to put it on our desktop and we are going to call this test one underscore one and click save is now saving on the desktop and I will be back as soon as it's done okay we're back it's done uh, it took oh my god um, one hour and 15 minutes to uh, export this so we're gonna go ahead and see what this looks like uh, this is going to be of course on the desktop test one 
and we're going to try to play it. There it is. We're going to hit play. And look how slow this smoke is. And of course, this is trying to play this at 120 frames per second. And, uh, and I'm recording at the same time. So I'm going to try to get to where that ball drops. Okay, here it comes. The ball should be dropping here pretty soon. Look how slow that is. Again, guys, you have to excuse my computer. This is actually going to run a lot smoother, uh, but my computer cannot play uh, 120 frames per second very well. But you guys can see how slow it is. Uh, that's skipping. That's the computer, not the video. All right, we're going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to delete this. back into shotcut and this time we're going to we're going to cut off the end by hitting split then I want to get rid of the end so I hit the minus sign and this time instead of it being let's see let's click on it again and bring up its properties and this time instead of being 05 let's make it Five zero, and that should uh, speed it up a little bit. We're gonna click outside, let it go ahead and change. So okay, so let's click on this. I changed this from 05 to 50, and I'm gonna go ahead and export this. Uh, 1920, 16 by 9. Uh, this time I'm gonna render this in 30 frames per second. So we're gonna put 29 because for some reason that's what this goes by. Uh, best, best, we're going to export file, we're going to call this test one again because remember I deleted the other one, underscore one, save on the desktop, and we'll be back as soon as it's done again. Alright, that uh, second video is done, um, I had to change it to, to uh, 60 frames per second because every time I type in 39, uh, it was going, or every time I type in 29, it was going from 120, 120 frames per second to uh, 30 frames, and it just wouldn't allow that, so all, all I could use was 60, uh, so it is done, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now, uh, it would be test one, let's see if it opens up and plays. This should be a little better because it's at 60 frames per second. There we go. Yes, it's playing nicely. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip to where the ball starts to drop. Uh, you'll see my hand come into play up here. Now, this isn't that slow. Like I said, 60 frames per second, think about it, it's about half speed. Okay, it's going to drop here real soon, guys. There it goes. So that's how you make a slow motion video. Alright, we're back. Uh, this time we were going to take that same video uh, in the playlist. I, I already have it down here, but I'm going to show you. We got that same video uh, you know, in the playlist. I'm going to use the whole video. I'm not going to cut anything off. I'm just going to highlight it and we're going to go ahead and go to properties and up here at speed again we're at one times the speed which is what the actual video speed is we're going to change that one to a five and we are now going to be at five times the speed so when i click anywhere in the box the timeline is going to shorten up and we are ready to go so i am going to click on export uh, advance. I just want to make sure everything's okay. I don't want it at 119 or 120. I'm going to make it uh, 60 frames per second. So I'm going to type in 59. It's just uh, this, I guess it's the uh, GoPro. And uh, I want to make sure this is on best. And we're going to export file uh, to desktop. And we're going to call this test 3. I don't know why I'm saying test 3, I just kind of like the number test 3. Click save, and when it's done rendering, I'll be back. Okay, so it's done. It only took 1 minute 25 seconds, so we are going to take a look at it. We're going to go to desktop and look at test 3 and see what that looks like. Now remember, we sped this up, so um, that whole video, as you can see, everything is all sped up. It actually looks good. 
and that's it guys I mean there is nothing else I can do uh, to show you how to do this guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below and I'll look at it and I'll see if I can't throw that in as well I'm learning shortcut too uh, <laughs> and uh, so whatever whatever I learn I'll try to throw out there for you guys as well um, that's about it and I will see you guys on the next video